A South Korean court has approved a request to seize Mitsubishi Heavy Industries' trademark and patent assets. The decision made by a district court in Taejeon on Monday comes after the Japanese firm refused to heed an earlier order by the Supreme Court to compensate victims of wartime forced labor. Mitsubishi will be barred from exercising two trademark rights and six patents, which uh, together are worth around 700,000 US dollars. It has now become the second Japanese company to get slammed by a South Korean court. Nippon Steel and Sumitomi Metal Corporation were stripped of their assets in January for not compensating victims of forced wartime labor.